Hey guys, welcome back to a quick little video here. Um, in my last video, Ed wanted me to explain some things. I don't think I did a good job explaining a couple things, so we're going to cover a couple things here. We're going to install a barrel on a Leshy 2. We're going to talk about the power pucks and uh, what they're used for and basically the proper way to do it. So let's start with installing the barrel. Now, the change in the generation here is this barrel ring. What this does basically is just prevent the barrel from sliding too far forward. Um, if you look at how the back of the mechanism works, if the barrel sits proud, as I had explained in the other video, it'll drag on the magazine and it won't cycle properly. Now, there's a little uh, roller bearing right here, and this little roller bearing needs to be smooth. And uh, let me get a magazine and I'll show you how that works. So here, here we have a magazine, and it goes into the axle goes into the center here and in order for this to stop the roller bearing needs to be smooth so that this action is smooth so if we scratch that or ruin it when we put a barrel on um, especially when it goes over the threads that can be a problem so the proper way to install the barrel is you're going to take the cocking into the cocking arm you're going to hold it down with your finger and out of the way the entire time you're going to gently insert it so that it never drags on the arm. As you can see it's free from the arm right there. Now you're going to find the gap on the ring and slide it right in like that. Now if you look here, I want to show you something. There's a little bit of play right there. You see that? This barrel needs to be not like this, but like that. Because if it's like this, make sure that's focused for you, it'll drag and it won't cycle. So one way that you can make sure that your barrel is in proper position is you can load the magazine, engage the hinge, close the action, and that'll set the proper depth for that barrel. And then you can tighten it down or you can just do what I did and just pull on it and make sure that it is flush because you can see here maybe you can see it move a little tiny bit or you can hear it that little bit of movement there will be the difference between a successful cycling and one that drags so that's something to be careful of there let's get that out of the way so that's your barrel installation okay so to take the barrel out what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the position now what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to push it to where it sits on that roller bearing this this ring sits on the roller bearing what I don't want you to do is do that and then find the opening. Do it right here, push it a little bit, find the opening, and then slide it right out. Okay, it's really important that you protect that roller bearing um, at all times so that it doesn't get scratched and it stays beautifully black and smooth just like it is right there. Okay, that's uh, one of the clarifications that Ed wanted me to make sure I did on my next video. So there, I've taken care of that. Now let's talk about these pucks. You're going to get a bunch of pucks. These are going to be the regular size ones here, and these are going to be the three jewel ones. Now, I want to clarify: the three jewel ones is not supposed to be used on a full power regulator. So, regulators generally for the 30 caliber and 25 are set at 130 bar. For the 22, it's set at 120, and for the 177, it's set at 110. All those settings of this regulator are too high for three joules. So, what basically happens is this is throttling the amount of air that comes out of the transfer port and so it's going to create if you use a three joule and a full powered regulator it's going to create too much pressure here and it might pop the lock open this was not designed to be used at full power on a regulator with this lock with this much air restriction coming out of this transfer port the reason why this is included is that you can drill your own out um, and as long as you drill this out you can go from probably 12 foot pounds all the way up to full power and you don't really have to mess with the regulator a lot if that's how you want to do it so uh, the way the pucks go in it's in, it's important that these are always in place without this in place this will not seal and it will not cycle the magazine because the back of this is sealed by this little puck okay so it's really simple the puck goes in so like that and that's it and to change it out Get yourself a little hook tool or something like that. Grab it. Pull it out. You could drill out your little puck to whatever you want. 
put the low power one in if you want to get that one out same way just whoops and there you go okay so i hope that clarifies a couple things and there'll be more videos coming out soon thanks guys